think smaller organizations can put in systems probably a bit quicker. Uh, they're generally a bit uh, more agile. Putting in a cloud system could be a quicker process, but we've worked for uh, a company that it took five or six years to put in a, a new end-to-end -end digital CRM system, which by the time it was finished, the technology it was based upon went obsolete. You know, you've got to have the right vision. You've got to have the right team of people, I think, with the vision, who know, you know, where the technology's going, so it's future-proofed, but also people that can 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 redefine the processes quickly and, and, and good planners and good people that can execute. So I think it does depend on having those sort of key individuals part of the program to get things done quicker. But yeah, people, I don't know what the average tenure is at companies, but maybe three years or something. So, you know, it could be that, you know, key individuals are leaving just at critical points of these programs. So you need to also plan for that, you know, to make sure that they they keep driving on. But yeah, I think a lot of people want to want to get rid of storage. Um, it's it's arguably safer, you know, in the cloud, having backed up in in multiple data centers uh, rather than sitting in a in a location where it could be subject to fire or, or natural disaster. Um, and, and also storage costs. Uh, and as we're seeing with the current remote working, you know, people are wanting to trim back on their, their office uh, space and office size to, um, to cut costs as well. All in the aim of uh, maximizing profits, obviously. And that's an interesting one, actually, where it sits in terms of digital transformation. Is it more of a, it related to costs, efficiencies, or, you know, green credentials and, and what percentages view as the main one? I think um, generally it's more efficiency based in digital transformation with the aim of long term cost saving.